So in this video I want to focus on mainly the first first part of this episode which was next party getting this holy sword named Bond I guess so he what I really want to focus on is what you know happened while they were getting this sword so they go into the labyrinth which is already look high tech like a previous civilization made if you saw the episode don't know what I mean like there were security cameras and then there was what I look like there to be there was like a server room beneath the kind of the floor where you know the holy sword was held up beneath that under the floor there seemed to be a server room and on top when you when a person when they got the holy sword there was a a protector that has awakened which was kind of a, a slime if you wanna basically but the way the holy sword said it it was um nanotech pretty much that acted like a slime so overall it was very uh, suspicious that you know they go specifically chose next party and they called this labyrinth a beginner's level labyrinth on top of to get the holy sword that so that's already suspicious why would a holy sword be in a beginner's labyrinth and why would you want next party to go wouldn't you want like the the hero's party to get it or won't you assign the hero's party for that so that that part is suspicious the other part i want to mention was what he was talking to nick about and uh, he basically said that the guild you know tricked me and you know basically put me here and told me to wait you know a couple couple days um cause, um because they'll send you know someone to go get it just in a couple of days and he reveals um they tricked me by saying that in actuality i was tra trapped here for for centuries basically so and if you just saw the whole episode it was very you know very um it was very suspicious on the guild part like why did they contract Nick's party especially and wouldn't that nanotech monster not be or the whole short two wouldn't it be assigned to a kind of a veteran like the hero's party and you know why was this labyrinth you know classified as you know beginners when it was clearly like a veteran level or something something that was obviously not beginners level and i don't know it just to me it just seems everything the guild has done to them like assigning them this so-called beginners labyrinth to nick's party and the holy sword it seemed like they knew they knew what what was actually happening like they knew about the the holy swords um not capabilities but his protector and just the labyrinth that he was in and you know it just makes me believe that there was greater uh there was there was a greater thing happening that arranged this in the behind the scenes so probably someone you know probably one of Karen's previous party members because we don't know what happened to him or you know Nick's party's members or uh, as the guild you know to assign this mission specifically to um, um, specifically to Nick's party uh, in hopes that you know they won't come alive come back alive so the whole thing the whole thing was very suspicious uh, makes me believe that probably later in the episode it will be revealed that actually someone uh, that we met before probably you know um, assigned them or asked the girl to specifically assign that mission to the to next party in the pretext that it was a beginner's 
Labyrinth and they shouldn't expect much from it with that title, The Beginner's Labyrinth. So, you know, I just think that someone is behind or there was a reason that that specific mission was assigned to Nick's party and not like the hero's party per se, but yeah, that's what I wanted to mainly talk about the first part. The second part was just, you know, the after events pretty much. So after they got the sword, the sword uh, revealed one power that it had, which was, you know, it could manifest itself into um, a human body like we saw, but it would, you know, it would separate it from the holy sword. So, uh, according to deal, you know, the holy sword went to the went to the guild, and you know, they followed up with their deal. Game they give them, you know, the money that was in the deal to the next party, and when the next party kind of went their separate ways, and tagged along with them was. Um, this, the, the spirit of the Holy Sword, kind of the, you know, how they separated. So, it took, like, on, uh, little boys, or boys, a little boys, um, human form, and tagged along that way. So, I don't know, it, I just think this whole episode was kind of fishy, especially in the first part with the guild. And, you know, hopefully, probably in future episodes... It will be revealed to us, you know, who's our main antagonists or if they even, you know, did specifically ask the girl to sign that mission to next party and the protect of being, you know, a beginner's level labyrinth. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the future episodes hold for us. But overall, I think this was a very exciting episode certainly make me want to watch more after this episode and i hope it does the same to you guys so i think that's it thank you and i'll see you next time bye